We're here at the New York Comic Con with Mike Carbonera of Big Apple Comics. We have him on the phone live. Uh, Mike, uh, are you coming in by satellite? Yeah, I'm here, Jeff. I really want to talk to you and tell you all about the Big Apple Convention. Great. I, I think our feed is good. Uh, uh, let's let's talk about the Big Apple Convention. Uh, you, you just had a very successful show in November, is that right? Uh, our November show was the best show ever. We had 10,000 people. We added hold on, hold on, hold on. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. All right, wait hold a second. On. Let's see if we can I think, think I'm losing the signal. Oh, well, yes. this will be easier. Good to see all you. Right. So you guys have a history of getting some of the some of the big names, big name uh, entertainers, big name artists, yes. and you got a couple shows coming up. Yeah, yes. we've been doing Big Apple for literally over ten years now. I mean, I've I've been going to conventions since 1969, since sure. I was a kid. The old Phil Suling comic shows, and that's what I remembered. Right. right. And we actually and now are doing the shows on. The, we added the 18th floor, which is where Phil used to run his shows, all his. Second Sundays, the yeah. monthly comic book marketplace, yeah. and and this you know. all takes place at the Penn Plaza Pavilion, yes. right? Which is part right of the Hotel street. Pennsylvania. Hotel Pennsylvania, right across the street from Madison Square Garden. So MSG, easy to get to from Penn Station. From anywhere. Wait, a friend of mine once said, "All of Long Island is our Fife Dome." Right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <if laughs> the you, trains come in and out from you everywhere. Get on a train in the mm -hmm. U.S. of A. You can get to uh, a Big Apple Con. Uh, and, and what do you got coming up? Now, we used to do three to four shows a year. Yep. Now we're doing two shows a year. Right. Uh, everything's going to be bigger, stronger, better. The big show is... Uh, the big show is November. November 14, 15, and 16. Do you have anybody and, set up for there? Uh, we're still working on that one, but it's going to okay. be wild. But what we are, we know we're doing is we're taking over the hotel. Great. <laughs> we're taking great. over Manhattan. We're turning into the Baxter building. And for people to get information about the show and, uh, and what's going to... Just, oh, look, they're, they're handing you go. money. What? These are advanced tickets are now on sale. Thank you very much. Where does one we go to get advanced tickets and, and give you that money? Holy cow. Very Joke good. a horse with that stuff. <laughs> where, where, where do they go? Do they, uh, they go to our website, bigapplecon.com. Big Bigapplecon. And you guys also uh, list other cons on there, too. Other yeah, we, we, everything. We to do that. And you asked me about artists. And I did. Our artist liaison, Alan artist Rosenberg. Liaison, Alan Rosenberg. Yeah. So here's my question for you. Why would someone want to go to the Big Apple Con more than any other con on the East Coast? Well, a With the exception of, of New York Con. Besides the fact that we've been doing it 10 years and we have literally a cult following of thousands of people that come right. to every show. It's a little more intimate. I mean, cons like this New York Comic Con are wonderful. It's great. It's the greatest thing. I mean, it's good for the industry. It's good for business. Big Apple, we do it in a hotel. We do it in the in the space. We have hundreds and hundreds of artist tables together. And I'm a little bit laissez-faire about things. Okay, here's your table, guys. Start drawing. Literally, <laughs> that's what they do. People walk up to them. You know, the lines are there, but they're right next to them. And it, it's just a very one-on-one -on -one thing. You know, dealers, we have uh, over 100 dealers' tables, but it's enough where you go to the convention, you can literally see the whole show in a day or two. Right. So, you know, you, you really feel a part of it. So, Big Apple is fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's based on the conventions, like I said, that I always would see when I was a kid in the 70s. You I know? hear you. Well, well, Alan, anything to add? Yeah, I think you'll, the difference you'll find is uh, these bigger shows... Um, you really don't get access to the creators and, and the celebrities the way you will at our shows. Um, just because the lines are so extremely long. Sure. And a lot of our customers develop, let's say, a relationship with me or Michael, and we can um, introduce them directly. Especially the young, I like to, being a teacher myself, I like to introduce a lot of the young fans right to the artists so that they can get even some art lessons, some art pointers. You're not going to find that at a big show. Yeah, know? yeah. Great point. Well, we thank you guys very much for sitting down with us. Thank you we also right. thank you very much. Hold on a second, Jeff. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I got a call coming in. Let me Jeff. see who this is. Oh, it's Mike Carbonara. Oh, Never mind. Uh, what? Oh, it's, it's, I can't Tom, get an answer. Tom, are you, are we got a three-way going here. Is that what it I is? I really wanted to say goodbye and thank Mike? you for. The, yes, yes. Hi. Oh, hey. How are you? I was in the middle of an interview. I'm sorry. I had to wait. I but really thanks for everything that you've helped us with. That's great. Um, That's and great. Uh, we will catch up with you again. We highly recommend everybody head out to uh, head out to the uh, the Big Apple Con. Right and then November, what are the dates? November 14th, 15th, and 16th. Three big ones, 14th, 15th, and 16th. Buy all your Thanksgiving gifts then at the con. And I want to make a personal in personal invitation to Comicology to come down to the show in November. We'll we tell will. You hey, that. we got a shout okay. out on our own show. Sweet. <laughs> all right, we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Great.